you're not in the gym. You're not trying to make squats and protect your knees. How do I get out of here? Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. So you or one of your friends want to learn how to skate, but you can't. Well, today I'm gonna to give you 10 reasons why that is happening. But before talking about any of those reasons, let me just tell you that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now you might be thinking, what is Skillshare? So Skillshare is the online learning platform where you can basically learn everything. So I've lately, been trying to get a little bit into 3D printing, but I didn't know anything about 3D printing. So what did I do? Well, I go on Skillshare and I found how to use Fusion 360, which is the program that we use to design. And then they actually explained the whole thing from going to the, to the printer, to the slicer, that actually sends the information to the printer and all that. And we ended up making this. I can't really tell you what this is yet, but I can tell you that I've learned how to do whatever this is via Skillshare. So, if doing something like this is something that you're interested in, or filming a video or learning how to edit a video, make sure to check the Skillshare platform. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Now, once again, thank you Skillshare. And now, let's get back to the video. Reason number one why most people can't skate. Well, most people actually have the wrong skates or they're using the wrong gear. It's very common for people to just get like a skate which is way too big. You shouldn't get big skates or if the skate is too short, it's too small, it won't fit you then, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. Also, if you're gonna get like a speed skate which is very low and you're just a beginner, well, try to find a skate that makes sense for the level of skating where you are. Let's not forget we're talking about beginners. I usually advise something which is like a hard boot skate or a supportive skate. Something like this, it doesn't necessarily need to be this, but something that is going to give you the stability that you need in order to be able to stay on your skates. Then you also want something that doesn't have the wheels too big because if the wheels are too big, it's gonna be harder for you to control. So you want something that it's low to the ground, a boot that it's supportive, and maybe you don't wanna break the bank too. So yeah, reason number one, you are using the wrong skates. Now reason number two is quite interesting. Reason number two, you are standing up wrong. This, this is not how you try to stand up and skate. By doing that, it's gonna be a lot harder. It's gonna be very hard for you to stand up and by struggling in such a simple thing such as stand up, it's going to decrease your confidence levels, let's say it this way. So it's very, very easy. Just go through your knees. Always put your knees down and then one foot, the other foot, and you are up. Easy, okay? Don't stand up wrong. Don't put your hands in your back. Put your hands in front of you and knees down. Reason number three, and this is the big one. You are scared of falling, which is perfectly normal because people are scared of falling. People are scared of failing. And usually when you fall on skates, it hurts. So you're scared of that. Perfectly normal. So how are we gonna deal with that? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to fall. So it's the most dangerous fall, it's usually if you fall on your back. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go through the process of falling backwards. So in case you fall backwards, never ever put both hands down. If you're gonna put both hands down, you might touch with a coccyx on the floor and that, that would be a problem. So in order to avoid that, we're gonna think of a cat. If you pick a cat by his, his legs, if you, if you drop him, he's going to put all the, all the legs the same side and that will make him spin. It's the exact same. In case we are falling backwards, the only thing that we need to do is to put both hands on the same side. By doing that, you are going to avoid touching with the coccyx, which is the dangerous fall on skates. So if I'm about to fall, check what I do. I'm about to fall backwards and I fall on my side because I put both my hands on the same side. Now, very important, never ever leave these joints blocked. You do not want to block your elbow, your shoulder, or your wrist. So when you fall, we're gonna try to absorb the shock a little bit here. The goal is, in case you fall, you're gonna use your 
natural pillows, which are your glutes. Now, reason number four, you do not know how your skates work. Well, you already know how to stand up. You already crossed the barrier of falling because you already did a couple of those. But now, you don't know how your skates work. It's very, very simple. Usually, if you're in flat ground, and if I have my feet parallel right underneath my hips, they shouldn't go anywhere. But if I open my toes, check what happens. I start going forward. Now, if I open my heels, I'm going to start going backwards. And this is very important to understand because learning how to deal with these will make it a lot easier for you to deal with your skates. So if you're in a little bit of a slanted uphill, you can always open your toes a little bit and you can stay in the same position. Or if you're going to stay in a downhill, you can just open your heels and somehow balance the little inclination where you are staying. This is also going to be very helpful for you to learning how to stop, how to accelerate. So you really need to understand how your skates work. In, in terms of the orientation that your toes and your heels are, this is very important for you to be able to skate. Now, reason number five why you cannot skate. You need to bend your knees. If your knees are completely extended, well, it's gonna be very hard for you to skate like this. Because when you skate, you should think of your body just like a coil. When you press on the, each edge of the coil, the whole coil tends to flex, right? It's the same with your body. Like, it would be impossible for you to keep your knees extended and the rest of your body extended and go like this. Because if you'd be like that, it wouldn't actually be too bad. It would be a lot worse if you're like this, because then you would fall forward. And ideally, what you need to do is to bend knees hips and your ankles. So now you know, you need to bend your knees, but your knees don't bend alone. And that leads me to reason number six. You are bending your knees wrong. A lot of people actually already bend their knees, but if you're bending your knees like this, you're gonna fall backwards. It's not about bending your knees and keeping your hips back there. You're not in the gym. You're not trying to make squats and protect your knees. In fact, when you skate, yes, as I just said, it's important to bend your knees. It's important that the whole body works as a coil. When it bends, the whole thing bends. Okay, just like an accordion. But it's also important to keep balanced. And in order to keep balanced, you should always pressure with your shins against the front of your skate. So looking from the top, you want to know that your knees are a little bit over the front of your boot, just like that. And then yes, once again, if your body works as a coil when you are on skates, if your knees goes forward, your hips go back and your shoulders come forward. The whole thing just bends and extends. Remember always the coil, but, but it's not just about folding, it's about folding in the right direction. And folding in the right direction is by bringing your knees forward, hips back, and this is it. So when you go down, here, you want to keep the weight centered. You don't want to go too much in the back, you don't want to go too much in the front, you want to balance it. I usually say that I want to have most of my weight on the second wheel, so I hope this helps you. Now, reason number seven. Well, remember when I told you about the direction of your skates making a difference in what you do with the skates? This is exactly it. So, there's a certain direction where you need to push your skates against in order to be able to move. Example, one of the most common mistakes, and this is the seventh reason why you cannot skate. I actually think that this is one of the ways that Michael Jackson used to learn the moonwalk, because it's just the way it is. If I keep pushing backwards, I don't move out of the same way. How do I get out of here? Well, I get out of here by pointing my feet out. Even if I start pointing my feet out, I start going outside. It's a very easy thing. So, what you need to know is, the push should always be to the side, to the side, to the side. And if I push it back, I keep on just moonwalking. So all you need to do is make a V and then from here, 
you make T's. So it's one T, one T, one T, one T. Once you start getting a lot more speed, then the V, it's becoming more and more and more closed until that will be the time that you are pointing your feet like this and just pushing it to the side, just like this. But this will be in an advanced level. Reason number seven, you are pushing in the wrong direction. Now, reason number eight, you are leaving your head behind. We already know what we need to do with our feet in order to start moving. But if I make that V, if my feet goes there, I know or I should know that my head needs to go in front of my foot. The reason why you cannot skate and the eighth reason why you cannot skate is because you're leaving your head behind. Your head cannot be here. Your head needs to go in front of each foot that you put on the ground. I put on my left foot, my foot goes in front. I put on my right foot, my foot goes in front. And this is it. This is how you start moving. That was reason number eight. Reason number nine, why you cannot skate. Once again, we go back to understanding your skates. And what's happening is that you are keeping your stance too wide. You cannot skate like this all the time. You can start like this, but as I said previously on reason number seven, once you start moving, you're gonna need to slowly start bringing your toes in. I'm gonna show you here. Let me show you how you do it or how you should do it. Well, it's normal to start skating like this, but if you're gonna keep going like this, what's happening is you're gonna start moving too fast. This is not what you want. You don't wanna do the movements too fast. Think of the swimmer, the one that does the slow, mellow, flowy movements, that's the one that swims good. It's the same with skating. You don't want to do the movements too fast. You want to control the movements. And in order to control the movements, you need to control your feet. You need to point them in the right direction. So you start like this and then slowly you're going to start pointing them more forward. We know already that the push needs to go to the side. So if the push is to the side, then everything else just becomes easy. Now, the tenth and the final reason why you cannot skate. You do not know what to do with your arms. How many of us have tried this? It's a thing, huh? A lot of people don't really know what to do with their arms. Some go here, some go here, some go here, some go here. The truth is, skating, it's just like walking. So, if my left foot goes in front, I need to contradict that movement. I need to center my body by bringing the opposite shoulder in front. So think about it. If I bring the same foot and the same shoulder in front, I'm going to be like this. So I will be skating like this. And no one skates like that. If the left foot goes in front, the right foot goes in front. And this is the reason why I'm able to skate and look at the camera always the same, right? It's a very simple thing once you understand it. All you need to know is if one foot goes in front, the other shoulder go. If the shoulder is there, well, you might as well just leave your hand go too. So that is it. Another tip that I can give you is if you advanced the left foot, you can try to touch with the right hand on the knee. Yeah, it's a simple movement that we tend to complicate. And, and that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's not a type of video that I usually do on this channel, but it's something that I really love to do. I love teaching people. I love looking at what people are doing. And if there's something, if they're doing something wrong, I usually like to tell them, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to help with all my years of skating. I don't do everything perfect. That's for sure. But yeah, I'm trying to do something and I'm trying to get more people on skates. So if you enjoy this video, well, make sure to subscribe to the channel if this is something that you enjoy and if you want to see more. Let me know in the comments if there's something else that you want to see on this channel too. Write it down in the comments. Now, if you didn't like it, you can also let me know in the comments. Let me know what you didn't like about this video. Let me know what you would want to see different. And other than that, that is it. Just don't ever, like ever, ever forget why we all started skating. And that, that it's because it's fun. Now, to just finalize this, if learning how to skate it's where you are right now, make sure to check my how to skate video course, which is also in the description. So cheers and see you soon. Fui!